in all of racing, it takes a good combination. It, it really, and I've been thinking about this combination thing for some time. And actually, it was weird because Sunday afternoon at Pocono, Paul Silva was there and Cliff Daniel. They're, they're, they're the combinations with Kyle Larson. Mm-hmm. Kyle Larson drives for Paul Silva in the sprint car world. And Cliff Daniels is his crew chief on the cup side. And I'm like, talk about a great combination, a great combination Silva and Larson make. And this looks awful good, what uh, Cliff Daniels and Kyle yeah. Larson are doing on the cup side. Yeah. You know, and then he has Kevin Rumley, his, his combination guy on the late model yeah. side. And so, you know, Aaron, you've been a part of this. There's sometimes a dream team on paper doesn't work on the racetrack. And then there's sometimes a different combination becomes a dream team on the racetrack. Yeah, absolutely. And it, it's about personalities, but it's also about equipment and comfort and confidence. I mean, there's a number of factors. There's got to be a timing factor yeah. about it where, where the cars, and, and there's no denying when you look at the NASCAR side, the Hendrick cars right now are the best cars on the, yeah. on the planet. Okay, but you know, but it's got to be a timing thing. But the combination, and why I talk about this is that we started the season with Kerry Madsen in the Mike Barshinger number 24 in mm-hmm. Pennsylvania. We come off the Jackson Nationals with arguably one of the top three drivers in all of sprint car racing over the last couple of weeks, because his average yeah. finish over the last month or so is Kerry Madsen driving for Tony Stewart Racing with Ricky Warner as the crew mm-hmm. chief. Uh, I don't know that anyone saw that coming. No. Now they're looking out the front, front, they're looking out the rock screen and seeing it going away from them. Yeah. Because that car is rolling for yeah. Madsen. I think Tony called him after Wednesday night and said, well, it looks like I'm out of a ride. Yeah. So I don't know what that means long term, but I think it was pretty much to say, Carrie, you, you, you're good right now. How and about you are that? showing me up. How about that? Isn't yeah. that cool for Kerry? Kerry's Carrie? yeah. just one of the good guys. Yeah. And he, it, when I talked to him on Thursday, he was just thought it was you know, kind of tickled that Tony even called him, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I didn't, you know, it was neat that he called me after the races to congratulate me, but it was almost unexpected for him. Yeah, because one of the things Kerry told us or told me or somewhere, I was talking to him, he said, Tony, whenever you want to drive the thing, I'll come scrape mud. <laughs> well, I don't think they're going to, I don't think, I think, I think the Tony's going to be like the mud scraper. Yeah. Tony's going to be the mud scraper the way <laughs> Kerry's driving that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk to Kerry Madsen. She is Aaron Everham. I am Steve, I am Steve Post. This is Wing Nation, the podcast, presented by Drydeen and by DRF Oils. We're in the Hercules Tire Studios in Concord, North Carolina, and we're going to hang out with the Madman. Talking about that Jackson Nationals, how about this? A $50,000 pass for the win. David Gravel, Logan Schuhart, World of Outlaw, NOS Energy Drink Sprint Cars, Agco Jackson Nationals. Here's our friend Austin Lloyd, the track announcer with the call on Dirt Vision. And now for the Dry Dean Death Defying Move of the Week, where one driver simply amazes us with their on track moves. Into one and two, they're side by side, wheel to wheel, wing to wing, and they'll race that way down the back straightaway. Gravel strong to the inside of Shuhart. Gravel's going to reclaim the race lead, slides up the racetrack. Shuhart turns it to the left at the line. You've got a new leader. It's Logan Shuhart. That Death Defying Move was brought to you by Dry Dean Diesel All Death, the official death of the world of outlaws and wheelmen everywhere. Visit drydean.com for more information. For decades, Drydean Lubricants has been made in America and made to last, paving the way on our highways, in our fields, and on the production line. Today, Drydean offers a complete line of engine oils, greases, hydraulic and transmission fluids, and diesel exhaust fluid. If you want greater performance and protection for your critical engines and equipment, go to drydean.com. Dryden, American owned and operated, and a proud supporter of racing and race fans everywhere. Citywide to countryside, whatever you drive, wherever you go, Hercules has the value, selection, and industry leading warranty to get you there no matter where the road takes you. Go to HerculesTires.com. There you can find the nearest authorized Hercules retail location to you. Plus, you can use the tire tracker to find out which Hercules tire fits your vehicle the best. That's HerculesTires.com. Hercules Tires, ride on our strength. Wing Nation, presented by Dry Dean by DRF Racing Oils, continuing on. We're in the Hercules Tire Studios in Concord, North Carolina. Let's go to the Sage Fruit Hotline. Joining us fresh off from apparel wins this past weekend at the Jackson Motorplex and a uh, 
fabulous ride in that number 14 car. The Madman, Kerry Madsen's on the line. Hello, Kerry. Welcome back to Wing Nation. Uh, thanks, Dave. How you doing? Uh, I am doing well. How are you doing, Kerry, with this uh, new new phone ride that you have in that 14 car? Uh, yeah, loving life. Um, doing well and uh, enjoying every every minute of it. Carrie, we had some time to catch up when we were out in Jackson. We talked about what it's like working with Ricky Warner. And I, I know you mentioned to me at one time, like, he, he's been just great to work with and asking you your thoughts on the car, something you might not expect from someone who's won as many races and championships as he has. Talk about that relationship as it's developing with Ricky. Um, yeah, like, it's, uh, you could kind of, you'd, you would think sort of going there for the first time that the amount of success that teams have that, that organization has had that, you know, you'd sort of be, here's the car, drive it, you know, just get in, wheel it. But uh, it's the opposite, pretty pretty open. Uh, Ricky and the team's pretty open and open to ideas and uh, how to get the car better and, you know, sort of the, the Ford open to, uh, you know, what we need to do with the Ford to make it drive better or be better. So it's just been, uh, it's been a lot of fun and uh, been a great working relationship so far in a short amount of time that it's been. I think that's the thing. It's uh, the, the, you know, Kerry. You've had you've had Hall of Fame crew chiefs where it didn't work. You've had crew chiefs that were not so Hall of Fame as far as their track record goes. It, it, when a combination like this just clicks, is there is there is there anything in particular? Is it just just because it clicks? I don't I don't understand. It's, uh, it's weird to put it together. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's just, just probably like getting the eleven secret herbs and spices in the right combination, and uh, it tastes good. Um, <laughs> It's, it's that simple, you know, like uh, it, it's a more almost like a, a chef cooking a meal and you just get the right pieces together and if the meal tastes good and then that's the sort of style you like, then it worked out well. Another ingredient that you talked a lot about when we were in Jackson was the, the Ford motor, uh, just the horsepower yeah. and the, the torque curve and how you liked it. Tell, tell us a little bit more about that. Um, obviously, it's a, the FPS 410 is obviously... Uh, pretty new and it's uh they've developed it for with Ron Schaefer and Ford Performance. Um you know, to the, they've they've come a long way in a short amount of time and uh I've come in on the right end of it of course and you know they've got to work a lot on the drivability and the and the torque curve and um ah it it I think it suits me the way I like to drive. So it it's it's been awesome for me. Um obviously, you know, they're still trying to get them better and there's some work there to do, but uh it, it's definitely like a, just fun to be involved um, in, you know, the sort of leaving no stone unturned to, to get it better. So there's, you know, a lot of combinations. We're still pretty much, you know, still in the, I don't know, you know, we're still trying to make it better. They've still got things they want to try and test. So, um, you know, hopefully we can get some, unlock some more performance out of them yet. What is what is your driving style? Is it is it hammer into the corner? You like coming off the corner? What is it that is matched up with this engine so well? I don't, I'm not sure if it's more of a hammer in, hammer out. Um, you know, every driver just positions the car a little differently. You know, but with the wing, I think you know uh, the wing really obviously sets the car. So you know, everyone has a little bit of different angle or how they use the boards of the wing to, to suit their style. And that sort of matches up to the whatever you're trying to do with the throttle position. So I, I think that the way I like to enter a corner and, and, and sort of use the throttle, it's definitely what fell into my wheelhouse and um, been good. Kerry, you mentioned trying some more accommodations and different things with the motor. I know that was kind of the role of the 14 car, even when Tony was driving it, to be more of the test driver. Obviously, you don't want to throw those things on Donnie's car when he's running for a championship. But it, is that neat for you? I mean, obviously, you get the, the the opportunity to drive an incredible car with a great crew chief, but you're also getting to try new things and see how they go. Oh, absolutely! Like it's, um, yeah, I feel like it just in the short time I've been here, I've, I've definitely opened my eyes up and gone, "Wow, that's, um, yeah." Just just in the short time I've been here, what I've learned is is been really good. So, uh, it, you know, just. It's just fun to go to the races every day. Kerry, I don't. I, I remember a lot of your driving and uh, your the teams you were aligned with and the things you were uh, paired up with and, and aligned with. But to have a teammate and a guy's Donnie Shots, and I know that uh, what what has that been like to have a teammate that's named Donnie Shots and just the 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 a, able to bounce ideas off from him as well. 
Well, just to, just to be a part of this organization is something else, you know. Like I know it's, it's, I'm here sort of short term and in a limited capacity, but um, just the little time I've been here from the from the top to the bottom, from 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 the secretary that Michelle just the tiger. I mean, just the whole thing has been, uh, you know, you just you can just see why this organization has had the success, the success from everybody, it's Johnny, Ricky, uh, it's just unbelievable. So just sort of sitting back and enjoying it and taking notes. Have you had a lot of interaction with Donnie as far as feedback from the car or, or have you talked to him a lot or is it, have you kind of done just done your separate thing? Uh, I mean, I think there, it's a pretty open book between the two teams. So, um, you know, if you got a, if you're having a two car team, I don't know, I'd do it anyway, but it's definitely an open book and I'm not sure if he likes the exact things I like, but um, I mean, he's, they're still trying to get, you know, it's still a work in progress, obviously. So uh, we're just trying to get it to get it to where, where where they think it needs to be. But um, now everyone everyone's been great to work with, Donnie. Everybody, it's been good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just fascinating how this worked out. It's fascinating how the year worked out, Kerry. Because when you started the season, the question was, is he going to be accepted as Pennsylvania Posse? Because you were driving Mike Barshinger's car, and I, and I heard an interview with you where uh, the, the 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 time back and forth between Pennsylvania and home was kind of a challenge there. Um, did you ever, in your wild imagination, see this year turn out like this? Uh, no, but I've, I know I've been around long enough to know that. I mean, this you just never it's spring car. You never know what's around the corner in this game. Um, nothing's safe, and you're never down and out. But uh, no, I really enjoyed the at time I had started the year with NPA with Mike Barshinger racing. Um, definitely made a lot, some good friends out there, and Mike's got an awesome race team. Um, it was just uh, sitting out there and racing in that sort of central PA every weekend was. Um, I could see a period of time that was probably going to start to grind on me, and I was starting to miss, you know, being just. I, I wasn't going to be able to just fly in, fly out every week, you know, like kind of need to commit to a team. And I just felt like I wasn't going to have to give it the, the commitment it needed. And it just sort of felt like I wanted to be back in the Midwest a little more. Here, you mentioned that you're not sure how long this deal may be or might be limited, but do you have at least a, a few weeks lined up or is this kind of day by day? Um, yeah, we definitely got some plan. Like obviously we're going to do the bigger races, the, I mean, nothing's really been announced, but I know we've got a little uh, some, some schedule ahead. So, um, so I think what I've got, I'm pretty excited about. But, um, um, but it's funny enough, like, uh, you know, if we were on one of Jackson, you know, Tony was like, well, I guess I'm fired. But I'm like, eh, I don't know about that, mate. But um, I'm, I would imagine Tony's going to be back in at some point and do some stuff. And uh, I'm just sort of quite happy to do uh, anything they need to do. and. I don't know. I don't, you don't really know. Gary, you talked about the uncertainty of sprint car racing. Um, you talked about the fact that you never know what's around the corner. One of the other facts is you're a 50-year-old race car driver. What is this like to have this opportunity now and to be able to win and mix it up with all of these hotshot kids that are out here racing now as a veteran driver? As you know, what's what's this been like for you, just emotionally and and just to just to just to fathom what you're doing here. Um, well, I think being in this car and getting some wins now is almost like a, a relief. Uh, I'm, I, I kind of felt like I got a late start in racing anyway, so always been a late bloomer. Um, I don't know, the age thing, I mean, I don't really have a lot going on, so I'm really passionate and committed to the sport, so I feel like that's an asset. You know, I feel like as long as you've got your fitness and everything's there, and it, I don't feel like age is a is anything to me. Um, I mean, obviously you can't drive them when you're a hundred, but um, who knows, you know? So, but you know, it can all be gone tomorrow. It could be go, go for another five years. Who knows? You know? Here, you said that you've got some big shows that are still on your schedule and I'm assuming maybe, maybe are, I'm right or not. Kings Royal Knoxville nationals, two of those races you are very strong at Eldora Knoxville, ton of laps, ton of experience. How exciting is it for you? If that's possibly happening, to be in that like caliber of car working with Ricky, I mean, it's got to be so exciting to look and anticipate those races. Uh, absolutely, I used to get so worked up and so look look forward to them races so much. Um, 
now that I'm, I'm I feel like we've got a good baseline with the TSR uh, Ford, Ford car and with Ricky that I've definitely when them races come around I've got the we've got the confidence and we know we know we've got the speed to, to be quick and, and contend. But um anymore I'm not I don't like really like letting them races stress me out too much and I sort of worry about them when they when they come around because um you know it's pretty easy to say that because you know the we've got the work, we've got the data. Um, you know, the car speed's gonna be there. So you know, you start thinking about them races too too far out other than from an infrastructure angle, it it really stresses you out. So I ain't getting stressed out by them races and um um, you know, sometimes in big races, your whole year hinges upon it. So, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely um, quietly confident that uh, we're going to have a great package when those when those races come about. Yeah, I'll hunt you will too. Uh, a little bit closer to us. What's uh, what's on the docket this weekend? Uh, where where are you headed with the with the team this weekend? I, I don't know. Um, it'll either be Knoxville or Cedar Lake. I think. I think we're just awaiting some stuff to figure out what exactly the plan will be. But yeah. um, uh, I'm on standby. I said, look, wherever you want me to go, no problem. I just uh, let me <laughs> let me know in time to be there. But obviously, if it's Knoxville, that's not going to be an issue. But um, uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't I don't really care. It's just, just fun to drive it anywhere. So uh, I think we have some cool stuff we want to we want to try out. So Knoxville may be a possibility this weekend. Wow. That's cool. Good stuff. That's for sure. Kerry, I'll tell you what, it's been fun to watch mm-hmm. you. The, the, the consistency was impressive and now starting to add some wins into that is, is even more. So congratulations on the success and uh, we'll look forward to catching up with you at some of those big races. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll dial you up on a, on a Tuesday and talk about some of these wins as you have going forward down the road here, but uh, we wish you the best with yeah. all of it. Yeah, right on. Um, that's good side effects, man. I'm excited to be doing it and thanks for, Thanks for calling out. So how's your dog doing? Your dog all right? I met I met your dog last Wednesday night. Your dog all fine? Yeah, everyone's still got their fingers attached, so dog's <laughs> good. Yeah. <laughs> Gary has a dog. Gary has a dog that might uh might take off some fingers or two. Unless you give it some beverage. I found I found the key. <laughs> I found the key to getting along with the dog. So I'm friends. Get I'm, a little friend there with a beer, that's for sure. Yeah, that's right. I'm <laughs> friends, that's for sure. Gary, always a pleasure. Thanks for the time, man. Right on, guys. Thanks. There we go. Terry Madsen, how about that? Well, I don't, I don't know that he confirmed anything other than <laughs> it looks like he's going into some big races with some confidence. Yeah. And if not the 14, then where else would that come from? <laughs> so um, I do know uh, when I talked to him a couple weeks ago, he was without a fire suit and without T-shirts, and now they've got fire suits and T-shirts. It's a good sign. And when the boss calls after Thursday night getting that win and says, I guess the ride is yours, it's a good sign. There's a lot of good signs. <laughs> yes. Wow. Fun stuff, that's for sure. Always good to catch up with the madman. Over the years, Dryden has stood for uncompromised value and proven performance. Known as the hardest working brand in heavy-duty lubrication, Dryden's heritage is made in America and made to last. Dryden products work to increase the life and enhance the efficiency of your equipment in the toughest conditions. Learn more about Dryden's products at Dryden.com. From grassroots racing to NASCAR, Dryden is a proud supporter of racing everywhere. For a year-round high-quality eating experience, look no further than sage fruit, apples, pears, and cherries. Not only is their produce healthy, but they are grown with such care and precision that you can count on each piece of fruit having exceptional flavor. Sage fruit, it's our first choice for quick and easy snacking. Flow Racing is the home of grassroots racing, with over 1,300 races streaming live in 2021. Watch the Lucas Oil Chili Bowl, World 100, Dirt Late Model Dreams, Sweet 16, and much, much more. Subscribe today by going to flowracing.com slash MRN. From sprint cars on dirt to SK Modifieds on pavement, arena cross, drag racing, and everything in between, it's here, live, and on demand. Subscribe today by going to flowracing.com slash MRN. That's F-L-O racing.com forward slash MRN. We are up to our eyeballs in sprint cars, and I don't, I love it. I don't know about you, Aaron. Well, who wouldn't? Well, exactly. Who wouldn't <laughs> love it? Pennsylvania Speed Week, presented by Red Robin Burgers and Brews, continues on. Tonight, Hagerstown, Maryland. Tomorrow night, the Mitch Smith Memorial, $15,000 to win at Williams Grove. 
Saturday, the Greg Hodnett Classic, 10000 to win up at Port Royal. They start the morning off with a 5K ah. for the scholarship. Um, mm-hmm. What the Greg Hodnett Foundation, um, it's two parts. Uh, one part is a bereavement fund. Should anybody in central Pennsylvania have to go through what Sherry's going mm-hmm. through, there'll be some financial assistance there. And the other part, because we knew Greg was an engineer, is a scholarship. I love that. And they announced the first scholarship this Saturday. Oh, that's neat. And yeah. I want to side note mention that I finally got to see you his tribute. You did get to see the yes, Hall of Fame. it is first class. I, I, I spent a long time looking at his display. There was some tears and some... Uh, yeah. It just to learn a little bit more about his career, see some of those cars, some of the innovation he came up with. So make sure to check it out if you go to Knoxville. And when we go, you know, when you're there in yeah. a few weeks, we'll, we'll definitely was, check it out. Yeah, it was one of their best tributes. So really far, I think. nice stuff. Yeah, just a lot of stuff too. A lot to it. Well, there's a lot to Greg. There <laughs> well, was a yes. lot to Greg, and, I, yeah. and there's that, that is that is meant out of the highest levels of respect yep. on all accounts. Mm-hmm. Um, neat stuff. The Greg Hodnett Classic is Saturday night, ten thousand to win it. It all wraps up Sunday. With their 75th anniversary program at Sealands Grove, 7,500 to win. Central New York Speed Week, Empire Super Sprints tonight. Land of Legends in Canandaigua, Brewerton, Fulton Wheat Sport. Boy, they're not going to be that far. Man, you get a hotel room in Syracuse, yeah. you can see a lot of racing within about 15, 20 miles. Mm-hmm. Great stuff. World of Outlaw NOS Energy Drink Sprint Cars Friday and Saturday night, Cedar Lake in New Richmond, Wisconsin. Tonight, I really like this. I like when we all get along. I uh, can't we all get along. Tonight at the Plymouth Dirt Track in Sheboygan, okay, the IRA Sprints, this is a partnership between Road America, IRA, and the Plymouth Dirt Track. I like it. And it's like it is the weekend kickoff for NASCAR weekend at Road America. It's just on the road a little bit. Chase Briscoe is going to be running in a sprint car. He hadn't run a sprint car in a while. He's going to be running a sprint car there. It's going to be big. So tonight at Plymouth Dirt Track in Sheboygan, IRA bumper to bumper sprints. ASCS National Tour, they're off next week. The Grizzly Nationals. Oh, boy. Yeah, but Adam the Bear has retired, apparently. Oh, no. Stay t- I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on up there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. No, so they're off this week, but they'll be at the Grizzly Nationals in Montana next week. Saturday night, just uh, Monet Motor Speedway or Monet Motor Speedway, I guess it is in Missouri. I love this. The Sooner, the Warrior, and the Mid South region. There's going to be sprint cars everywhere there. <laughs> My gosh, you take three of those regions. Weekly action, Friday night, Attica and Lernerville. Saturday night, Butler, Knoxville, Waynesfield. Sunday night, Tri-City Raceway Park and Wayne County Speedway. Boy, you don't get enough sprint car racing this weekend. It's another one of those big holiday weekends on yeah. the 4th of July. You don't get enough sprint car racing this weekend. It's, not, it's on you. It's on you. It's not on, it's not on sprint cars. <laughs> it's on you. So... Um, Always neat to hang out with the madman, isn't it? It is. It is really neat. He's just an interesting character, very level. Yep. The highs are never as high as they should be. The lows are never as low as they should be. And it served him well into a very, very sweet situation. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. Yeah. You think, I bet you there's a lot of drivers that wish. You, You just think about when he made the decision to leave Mike Barshinger's team. It's just like, well, I don't know what's next. Yeah. And then just. Well, think, th- you just think about hindsight being 2020. What if he stayed there? Yeah. And this never came about. I mean. Or Tony just, put someone else in the car. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, you just think about life. And that's, that's the thing that's so fascinating about it. I love it. Love catching up with the madman. Hey, Wing Nation gear is available at www.wingnation.com. That's wingnation.com or wherever the all star circuit of champions go with their trailer. Now, coming up this weekend. On our Wing Nation television program, presented by Sage Fruit, Cole Macedo, talking to uh, Carson's younger yep. brother. So looking forward to him. He's doing wonderful he things is in doing Ohio. Really good. Really stuff. good. Well, he's hooked up with the Linder family. Yeah. That's a good they start. They kind of have a little history. Yeah, in they Ohio. have a little history in Ohio. That is for <laughs> sure. Always great to hang out with the Madman. Great to hang out with you, Aaron, as well. And more important than all of that, thank you for joining us here this week on Wing Nation, the podcast presented by Dry Dean and DRF Racing Oils.